Welcome back again. Assalamu alaikum. I am Fahomis from Imaduddin School. For this lesson, we will need your English big book, a pen or a pencil, and then a notebook. Make sure you have your eraser too. Okay? got all the materials that we will need for the lesson. Let's discuss the learning intention and success criteria for the lesson. Learning intention for this lesson. We are learning to answer the questions by listening to a poem. Success criteria. We will be successful if we can listen to the poem and answer the questions. Let's get started. Let's begin the lesson with fun activity. This activity is called uh, listen and draw. For this activity you will need your pencil and the paper. Ready? I will read each instruction three times so that you can do it easily. Listen to me very carefully. Okay. Um, draw a medium sized circle in the middle of the paper. Draw a medium sized circle in the middle of the paper. Draw a medium sized circle in the middle of the paper. Now you can draw a medium sized square below the circle. And have the top of it touch the bottom of the circle. Draw a medium sized square below the circle and have the top of it touch the bottom of the circle. Draw a medium sized square below the circle and then have the top of it touch the bo bottom of the circle. Now draw a medium sized heart in the middle of the square. Draw a medium sized heart in the middle of the square. Draw a medium sized heart in the middle of the square. Now draw two rectangles on the side of the square. One on, e one on each side of the square. Draw two rectangles, one on each side of the square. It should go the wide way, not like this. Not the straight way, okay? It should go the wide way. Draw two rectangles, one on each side of the square. It should go wide way. And the top of them should line up with the square. The top of them should line up with the square. The two rectangles, the top of the two rectangles should line up the 
line up with the square are you following me okay now draw a triangle on top of the circle a medium sized triangle on top of the circle again the bottom of the triangle should touch the top of the circle draw a medium sized triangle on top of the circle and have the bottom of it touch the top of the circle now you can draw three small stars in anywhere of the triangle three small stars in anywhere in the in the triangle three small stars in anywhere in the triangle now you can draw a small triangle in the center of the circle a small triangle in the center of the circle draw a small triangle in the center of the circle and then below just below the small triangle draw a curve a curved line below the small triangle just draw a curved line and arc now top of that on top of that small triangle you can draw two small circles one slightly to the right one slightly to the left on top of the small rectangle small triangle you can draw two small circles one slightly to the right and one slightly to the left draw two small circles on top of the tra small triangle one slightly to the right and one slightly to the left and then draw two rectangles below the square this time it should go the straight way two rectangles below the square and have the top of both rectangles touch the bottom of the square and then you can draw two rectangles just below the square have the top of the rectangles touched the bottom of the square this time the rectangles should go the straight way not the wide way okay okay there you go what is it yes it's a man it's a man how many of you were able to draw perfect shapes man i'm sure you all have enjoyed drawing this shapes man for the next activity you will need your english big book and a pen take your book and open page 46 now i'll read you a riddle i will read the riddle three times you have to guess the answer and tell me what it is okay listen to me carefully i am black but i am not a marker pen i am a mammal but i am not a well i go before a man to become a superhero but i am not a spider i might be found in a cave but i am not a slagmite who am i once again i am black but i am not a marker pen 
I am a mammal, but I am not a whale. I go before a man to become a superhero, but I am not a spider. I might be found in a cave, but I am not a slagmite. Who am I? The last time, okay? I am black, but I am not a marker. Pen. I am a mammal, but I am not a well. I go before a man to become a superhero, but I am not a spider. I might be found in a cave, but I am not a slag mite. Who am I? Okay, do you know what it is? Yes, excellent. It's about bats. Today we are going to talk about bats. The listening will be mainly about bats. And then I'm going to tell you some facts about bats. Bats are the only mammals that can fly, but they are not birds. We do not consider them as birds, right? Yeah. So, and then do you know how many uh, different types of bats we found in the world? There are over 1200 species of bats we found in the world and they sleep during the daytime and daytime they live in caves but when it comes to night they come out and they uh, hunt for food and the biggest pet is called fruit bats or the flying foxes and then the smallest bat is called kitty's hog-nosed bats or the bumblebee bats ready read the questions aloud with me number one what does the writer mean when she says though born with wings it isn't a bird number two where does the bat stay during the daytime according to this poem number three if the bat is blind how does it see? Number four. Why does that author describe the bat as scary? Listen to me carefully. I will play the audio recording three times. The first time you should pay more attention and listen to the audio carefully and then answer the questions. The second time you should answer the rest of the questions that you could not answer the first time. The third time, you have to check the answers, whether you have written them correctly, while those who could not finish can try and finish. Are you all ready? Unit 2 Listening Listen to the audio recording of a poem written by Sue Chehrinagar. Bat Though born with wings, it isn't a bird. Blind, it sees by the echoes it heard. In daytime hours, caves where it's at. In dark of night, out comes the bat. Now what a scary thing is that? Unit 2. Listening Listen to the audio recording of a poem written by Sue Chehrinagar. Bat Though born with wings, it isn't a bird. Blind, it sees by the echoes it heard. In daytime hours, caves where it's at. In dark of night, out comes the bat. Now what a scary thing is that? Let me discuss the answers now. Question number one. What does the writer mean when she says, Though born with wings, it isn't a bird. The answer is, that it is considered as a mammal. Number two, where does the bat stay during the daytime according to this poem? The answer is in the caves. Number three, if the bat is blind, how does it see? The answer is by the echoes it hear. Number four, why does that author describe the bat as scary? The answer is 
because it comes out in dark of night. Let's get back to the next activity. You'll see the poem on the screen. The order of the poem has been changed. Uh, just read the poem yourself and then you can rewrite the poem in order and also you can add two more lines by yourself to the poem and one more thing after the lesson ends you can call one of your friend or a family member and tell them about the most interesting fact that you have learned today about bats and also you should tell them the bats joke too now we are going to play a game do you like playing games yes i'm sure you like playing games so this game is called uh, simon says what you are going to do is uh, i will read an instruction followed by simon says and then you have to do it if i say the instruction without simon says then you are not going to do it i will also play the game with you stand up all of you are you standing okay that's very good now simon says stretch your body says relax Simon says bend your knees Simon says stand straight Simon says clap your hands Simon says clap your knees Simon says stop sit walk jump right laugh simon says put your thumbs up simon says touch your elbow simon says run on the spot Simon says play the air guitar. Simon says stop. Simon says wave goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you loved the game and you enjoyed my lesson well. See you soon again. Until then, stay safe, stay home. Thank you.